Rob did just get back from Amsterdam. Uh, when he, the first thing he saw when he got back was the, the maps. Uh, <laughs> you can do the map. Uh, just uh, really, it's a couple of notes and a couple of comments. Uh, someone recently uh, mentioned to me somebody who knows Cather's work really well, better than I do. Um, I'm probably a fan of the way you guys are, um, and where I think most Nebraskans are obliged to be. Uh, uh, that the gold slipper is not a, the most popular, or a popular, or at all a very interesting uh, piece by Cather. But uh, and, and why would you pick this one? And I thought, and I'm, I'm looking at you, Andy, but you weren't the person who said it. Um, uh, so, <laughs> Melissa, uh, and I said, God, never. Uh, let me think about this. But actually, it's uh, it's a really odd story, and I like that. And I thought about the show that I was making. Uh, and myself as an artist, and this work, uh, it's not typical, very atypical, it's a bit odd and unusual to have a show, to have video art, to have some actors show up, and some great musicians and great actors, um, and part of making a film, and some film tableaus, or uh, tableau vivant, these are uh, moving paintings, the way that I see them on the wall, and I've had a hard time sort of identifying myself as an artist, because Wait, wait, you make the other guy make some movies, or can I get tickets to tonight's show? People will say, I think it's an art exhibition, just come on out, it's great. So these things are hard to explain and hard to quantify, and I felt like, well, the gold silver is maybe that sort of um, a synchronous sort of odd piece that, that I really like. But I liked it because of all the visual qualities that Cather writes about um, in her work. And so it gave me the opportunity to explore the UNL historic. Uh, textile and garment collection that we have, costume collection that we have in my home department. And Mary Alice, my colleague here, helped me sort of comb through the collection and pull some articles out. Uh, these are not specific to 1917, but I like them because they sort of embody this unusual story, which to me, I interpreted that as Cather wrote this through the eyes of a man named Marshall McCann, who was a misogynist, who was a coal man. And it was a grump. It wasn't somebody who you're really supposed to like. So it's an odd point of view. Um, and the eyes of man looking at a lot of these uh, accessories, um, sort of it was, it was a leveler in a way. Um, you know, so I, I get to learn from this experience as well as put on a very odd or sort of interesting and sort of hybrid uh, event for the evening. So I wanted to thank a few people, the actors, uh, uh, Katie Otten, who portrays Kitty Ayrshire. Hello, everyone. And Wayne Manichuk, who plays the inscrutable Marshall McCann. Don't <laughs> be <laughs> As you all know, I'm Kitty. It's so good to meet you. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Marshall McCann. <laughs> I gotta get back to work, but, you know. Now, I, I think you can spare just a few hours with us. What could be more important than the gathering of people? Well, yes. This is kind of a neat, neat evening, so yeah. I'll make a nice What's break. more important than people gathering and being together and sharing art and experiences? So thank you all so much for coming and enjoy yourselves. Glad you can come. <laughs> Shoemaker, sorry. Uh, as you've heard, great performance tonight. Thank you. And Dennis Pitflop, looks all. Thank you for uh, performing and accompanying uh, on this odd exhibition night. And we appreciate you um, uh, filling in sort of the back end. You guys are welcome to talk and hang out. Uh, you're comfortable with that? Is that what? Of course, yes. <laughs> I also want to thank uh, the Cather Project for the support on the film portion of this, which will be turned into a short film uh, that I will release later this year, be a short animated hybrid film, which served to be sort of the proof of concept for a larger film that I'm making. I also had help with the CDRH, which is the Center for Digital Research and the Humanities, uh, staff and faculty who have helped me with my work in ways that they're not even sure they may have helped, sometimes very directly, sort of indirectly, or maybe just through uh, emotional support or showing up and saying, yeah, it's okay to make a short film about a weird cat or story. Uh, and coming tonight means a lot to me. Thank you, guys. Um, and then lastly, I want to thank Buck and Lisa, uh, Barbara, and Abigail for taking the chance. On an odd show, it cost you guys money and time to do this stuff, and I appreciate the space and the support uh, for my work. So thank you. Thank you guys. Good work.